A Milwaukee teenager who was severely disabled after being hit by a car on his way to school is getting the gift of independence from a local group of volunteers. Yona Gavino has his story. Javar Izel has been confined to a wheelchair for the past two years. It's always been a struggle for him to get in and out of the house, but now this door will open to the world he's missed. I'm still here. Life for the past two years has been hard for Javar Izel and his family. Izel was hit by an SUV on his way to school two years ago. Now he's recovering from a brain injury and may never walk again. It's a struggle. We can't do the things that we used to do, and especially I got two other boys. So they feel like they are like bounded down to do things for Javar. Volunteers from Tri North Builders hope to make things a little easier for the Izels. They're building a wheelchair lift and new deck for the family's home. Until now, someone has always had to carry Javar and his wheelchair into the house. Some days where you have no one around to help, then you got the neighborhood kids helping, then you got the van driver helping, so it was a challenge. When the folks at Tri North heard his story, they felt compelled to help in the best way they know how. Right now, giving him the flexibility to access his home uh, on his own is probably going to be the biggest key factor for him, you know, and for the family. I mean, Shalonda is grateful for the independence this project will give her son. I'm going to be excited for him. Yeah, I am. Javar's mom tells me once everything is built, they plan to sit together on the front porch, enjoy the sunshine, and just listen to the birds chirp. In Milwaukee, Yona Gavino, today's TMJ4. The wheelchair lift and deck are expected to be done early next week.